Joining us, the collector and the SP. Thank you very much for your time. It's a history set in Tirunamalai, sir. Yeah. Thank you so much. What, what would this mean? No, uh, this temple is for everyone. Uh, we are establishing the constitutional rights for everyone. Thank you so much for covering And us. in terms of arrangements, how difficult, challenging was it, sir, security-wise? It, it was indeed challenging, but uh, hope we have done our best. Thank you. And will this be a symbolic beginning or do you think this will continue? We will continue. Thank you so much. And uh, in terms of security, how many you have deployed, sir, the DIG? Nearly 400. 200 people in this village. Yes, yes. And no untoward incident? No untoward incident so far. If anything happens, we will we'll proceed legally. This is the temple, sir. It's a 70 years old temple. Okay. Uh, and it's under the control of uh, Hindu Religious Endowment Board. Okay. So, uh, everybody has got equal rights as per the constitutional uh, uh, law when we have to enforce the equality among everyone. So that has been done today. So Since when they have been denied entry into this temple? No, actually it, it is not the question of denial. So now uh, the AC people wanted to enter the temple and they wanted to worship this temple uh, and which has, uh, which has been done uh, today. It's been a custom basically. <coughs> kind of a custom they have been following, practicing for the last 70 years. And when they requested us, it is our mandate to provide them sufficient security and protection to enter upon the temple that we have done today. This morning still around 1000 people had gathered outside of protesting. So still they have not okay with this entry, is it? Uh, the dominant peace, communities. peace talk will continue and it will take some time for them to uh, We will continue our work in convincing them and right. do our work. Was it known earlier or this came to light only now, sir? Which one? Today morning. Uh, the lack of access for the scheduled caste into the temple. Oh, the demand this year. This year. I see. Yeah. As SP said, it's a customary right. So uh, now uh, demand has raised. So right, right. Uh, obviously we have to give uh, the protection. And uh, hereafter we'll ensure that uh, uh, equality prevails for everyone. Uh, thanks for uh, coming. Lastly, is this a symbolic beginning or do you think rule of law will be established? Uh, Scheduled class will be able matter, to. It's a matter of some mental uh, awareness. Uh, we right. have been uh, continuously, right from our uh, uh, Periyar, uh, it has been enforced uh, here, and because of uh, our ancestors only, we are here uh, as a district administrator. Right. So oh, we have to change the mentality of the right. people, and we have to ensure that uh, uh, the people mentality changes and uh, equality prevails. Uh, among right. We are in setting in 2023. Right. So a uh, uh, lot has been changed, and uh, education among the CST and other uh, people has gone uh, uh, huge. Uh, it is raised. Right. Uh, and uh, we also has educated because of our ancestors and our uh, forefathers' uh, efforts only. So we will ensure that this will... Uh, Law enforcement, we have to ensure social justice is prevailing. Right. Today also happens to be the Martyrs Day when the government is administering a pledge against untouchability. So this... Yeah. This, this has a... <laughs> The guy yeah. going through it. Yeah. Right, right. Thank, Thank you so, you so much, much for your time. And that was the collector and the SP talking to us as the administration set a new history of sorts, letting around 300 scheduled cars into the temple as they've been denied entry into the, temp into the temple for at least eight decades. At the Ten Murianur village in the Thirunamna district of Tamil Nadu, with Suresh Sam Daniel for the TV.